goaded actor Thomas Jefferson Byrd, known for his immaculate roles in all his Spike Lee films, recently passed away on October 3rd, I believe. Um, apparently, police got a call around 1.45 a.m. in Atlanta that he was found unresponsive with three shot wounds in his back. And honestly, it was a sad day for like not only people who've just enjoyed his films, also the black community and i kind of want to get your guys perspective on that and how you're feeling because i'm pretty sad like when i found out that information i was like are you serious like he was only 70 years old like he was acting up until the day he died like he was doing a lot so i just want to know how you guys feel about that yeah i mean i saw the headline it came across my twitter feed and it was def it was I don't know. It was just disheartening to see that, especially knowing that it was a murder. It was a murder mm-hmm. because, I mean, I don't know what exactly could have of transpired mm-hmm. in order for him to be shot, you know, right. because obviously the details haven't come out yet. But mm-hmm. like, I wonder if like, somebody was like, you know, trying to get one over on an old man. Cause, yeah. like, I feel like a lot of people, as much as many people that know him, there's also a lot of people that don't know him. So mm-hmm. maybe like that could have happened where it's like maybe a robbery gone wrong or like someone had a vendetta against him, but it's just impossible to believe that. Like I have a sense that it was just like wrong place, wrong time. And it's mm-hmm. just, it's disheartening to see that. My dad texted me probably like an hour, hour and a half after he saw it because my dad's a big Spike Lee fan. Um, and yeah, it was, I don't know, it was sad to see. Yeah, I I can only echo any, all of everything that's been said. And to do my best in trying to put, you know, icing on like a on a cake, you know, like some of the things that, some of the movies that he was a part of in 1996. Set It Off was New Line Cinema, the, the, the people who you know, produced the movie. It was their highest grossing film that entire year. Um, and obviously, you know, the, the plethora of Spike Lee movies that, he started in. Um, I watched. I literally watched. I think two or three of them um, this past summer with my family, and it's just. Um, it, it's you know situations like like this. It makes you ask like what could have possibly happened. Um, and I, it's hard. You know you don't want to go too far down that road. You, just, you don't want to pry. You know, obviously, there's a lot of people grieving. Um, it was a big loss for the black community, especially like Viola Davis. I mm, think Taraji she Hansen, tweeted about it. I, I'm not sure on her by behalf, but Spike Lee also like tweeted yeah. about it, dedicated a whole Instagram post. Like the, he was, he made a lot of like impressions within the industry and especially in film with black people. Because like the like film wasn't meant for, like the history of film was not meant for black individuals. So for him to like come out and Spike Spike Lee as well, and then kind of come together and create this atmosphere and like this safe haven essentially for like the black community and just detailing different experiences within like the black experience. Like that's something that's unforgettable and that has like deeply rooted impacts like on people like till this day. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's, there's, there's definitely very much to be said for, you know, I mean, we can go on all day. Like we we we've definitely talked about other facets on this show, but in the entertainment industry, you know, the the the, the double standard and the differences that are seen, um, and that's that kind of just makes this, you know, losses like these. Chat, and I don't want to group any any two losses together, but mm-hmm. just adding to the the that horrible feeling of losing Chadwick Boseman also earlier this year. It's like that was that was hard too, <laughs> like. I, I don't know, it's just like that. all these people that people with, I know specifically for the black community have looked up to like as idols in some way, shape or form that have helped like form their life and like their perspective mm-hmm. on things. And also just like helped them realize like the insecurities that they have concerning like their race and just what their abilities are within society, like can like, they can reach these standards and these heights, like for that life to be taken away. Like it, it really hits like really it, it just should. I mean, at least from what the layperson would would know, this obviously did not deserve to happen. Like this should have never, ever, ever, ever happened. And you know, just to bounce off of 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 what you said too. Literally, this time last year, we were on the airwaves talking about John Witherspoon. Oh, jeez. And it's it's you know I don't want to I don't want to run through just all the the different you know terrible situations, but like, no memory 
you know, as far as the people who made such an impact deserve to be forgotten in, in the absolute slightest at all. Exactly. It's, it's definitely um, a loss many, many, many people are feeling, and, 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 and rightfully so. You can kind of get like a memorial thing, you know, how they, they did for Chadwick Boseman, where they right. kind of just talked about him and his life and stuff, sort of, to, to a certain extent. Like, I feel like he deserves that as well because of just the waves that he's made within the industry for not only black individuals, but just people in general. Like, his talent was just unmatched. So Absolutely. 